Now less than 24 hours away from the official return of the thunder over the sound. The cones are out in Biloxi along Highway 90 as part of the city's traffic plan for the big event. Bill Snyder shows us how the final pieces are being put together this morning ahead of this weekend's show. It's a beautiful Friday morning and a chance for those involved with Thunder Over the Sound to get everything ready for the weekend performances. Crews with Keesler Air Force Base, as well as a few members of the Thunderbirds are out here making sure the bleachers and equipment and everything is working before the Thunderbirds take to the skies for practice on Friday, then the shows on Saturday and Sunday. Speaking of the Thunderbirds and the pilots, Major Daniel Katz flies number five for the Thunderbirds. That's the lead solo. And if you look at the plane closely, the number five is upside down. Well, we ask him what that's about. I actually spend a lot of the, the show upside down, and so a lot of the passes all come upside down, as well as number six is right side up. And so they decided as a funny joke back in the 90s, hey, let's go ahead and put that five upside down. So when you take a picture, it actually looks right side up. So Major Katz and his colleagues are going to be upside down, right side up, and performing here over the beach as thunder over the sound takes over South Mississippi. Here in Biloxi, Bill Snyder, WLOX News Now. And if you're planning to go on base to Keesler for Thunder over the Sound, there are some things you'll need to know. Visitors will need to park at one of these three parking lots and take a shuttle bus to the base. These lots are located at Oak Park, the IP Casino, and Harrison Court. And if you can't make it out to Biloxi for the show, WLOX has you covered. Our crews are preparing to bring the show live to your living rooms. You can catch Saturday's fun right here on WLOX ABC with our coverage starting at 3 p.m.